Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video where I want to show you how to change your destination in your PMDG 777 FMC for Prepare 3D V4 and V5. As you know, we have a problem when we want to change a destination and we want to change our training on the uh, 777 sometimes and as well 747, it crashes the simulator. So here, what I strongly advise you to do is to deselect on the setup the uh, program FMC for now. PMDG is aware of that uh, issue and it should be fixed. I'm sure they always fix everything. So we should have that function working pretty soon. So for now, please deselect that function and let's see how we can do that. So as you see now, I'm at the D4 airport, Kilo Romeo November Delta, runway 33 left and uh, we will do a left hand vectors for this ILS. So how to do that? In the simulator, in my cockpit, what you're going to do here, first approach, just open your FMC and in the root page, just put K Kilo Romeo November Delta to Kilo Romeo November Delta, activate, execute. That's the only thing you have to do. Now we are ready to go for our training. So let's press move aircraft here will be on the left hand vectors. My aircraft is overweight as expected, so I'm just gonna use the default given weight by FSI panel. And let's go in the sim and let's see how we fly now this approach. So on the first approach there, as we have selected the right airport already in the FMC, we have nothing to do basically. We just let FSI panel do the job and then we will on the FMC left FMC, we will just uh, select the approach and that should be it. So let's see that. As you can see, FSI panel is still working here on the uh, speed and nav setting. So the nav setting is done and we are in manual mode. So now if we can change our FMC, we could go back to auto mode. Let's see that. All right, as always, just wait until you get the confirmation before you do anything. So on top here, you can see that we are still working on it. FSI panel is still uh, trimming your aircraft. We should be ready anytime soon. All right, so I will open my FMC already and we can start. We see that everything is getting close. We are ready now, hold your break for two seconds. So as we already have here the destination, that's a good news. We just can select our arrival and we said we are on runway 33 left. And we are on left hand vectors, so runway 33 left. Now you go to Lex page, activate, execute. Now you can see that we need Finig on top with the intercept heading. So what we will do is put Finig on top. Intercept heading is 327. Execute. Now I have my FMC and my missed approach. Now you see the message runway ILS course error. This is because FSI panel has taken the data from uh, BGL files and we have here the latest Navigraph database. So how to correct that? Now you go to Navrage page and as you can see the small M here for manual, that means that FSI panel has set your ILS frequency and course manually. So what you can do here is just press delete and you will be back in auto mode. Right now we are all set. I can hold my brake and take over the control and I can fly my approach. So let's say now we want to fly an approach in a different airport. And this is the problem we have on the second, third, fourth approach. So I will show you a way that I found that seems to be working. So let's give it a try. We will go to San Francisco, for example, now. So we have a different airport. We'll select runway 28 left, for example, and again, a left hand vectors. And we will click on move aircraft. So now our FMC will probably crash the simulator if we change the destination. So I will show you a workaround here that might work. It worked on my setup, so make sure to give it a try and please report in the comment below if it's working on your computer as well. This is a workaround until we have the FMC fixed, which should be very soon uh, as per uh, what uh, the information I received by PMDG. All right, so We'll open the left FMC because FSI panel is working on the right FMC. So if I start working on the left FMC, I will not interfere. 
as you can see we are ready to take over the control so let's see what we can do if i go to my root page now we see that the destination is still kilo romeo november delta if i type in now san francisco there it will give us a crash to desktop so what i found to be suitable is you go to your next page the last waypoint might be on page two or page three depends but the last waypoint i will select the airport where we want to fly in that case san francisco i put it right there execute so now you can see san francisco on the map display which is correct and we know what you have to do pick up san francisco and put it on top just like that and execute right so now we have a direct to san francisco nothing else from there i will change my destination so i go to root page page one and now the magic is working on my computer if i type in san francisco execute the destination has been changed we have no crash and now i can change on my arrival page ils28 left execute we need a direct to uh, do yet and the course is 285 execute i have everything there i can fly the approach i have my missed approach in the fmc again we have this nav nav radio disagree so you go to nav rad you see the manual here just delete and voila you're ready to fly and now we will do our second approach in a row we didn't have any fmc problem any uh, crash to desktop looks good let's try a last one we will do this time gfk and we will try something different we will go on the four left ils on long final and let's see now if that work as well so now the flaps are moving to 30 and we will be on the third approach if something like that happened you see the pitch nothing seems to be working properly just wait don't do anything fsi panel will correct the situation this is because we went from uh, flaps 5 to gear down flaps 30 and different speed so it takes a little while for uh, the aircraft to trim for the right speed now everything is correct as you can see we have the right altitude 2300 the heading is coming to 045 we have the airport in front of us and now we have to work on our fmc so okay aircraft is ready for your training so i will pick up my fmc and i will do exactly the same procedure as before so bear in me bear with me sorry for that one so next page the last waypoint in that case it's after this all Ol Ol and i will type in my four letter code of the airport where i want to land which is kilo juliet foxtrot kilo execute we can see that gfk is in front of us perfect now i take that gfk in the crash pad and i put it on the first waypoint execute so now gfk is my active waypoint now i can change my destination so i go to root page page one and i will type in kilo juliet foxtrot kilo and as you can see we are ready to execute no ctd and now i can set my approach zero four left execute and type in the first waypoint in front of me which is this one here execute all set we have the missed approach everything looks good and now what you can do again go to your navrad you see that you are in manual mode which in fact is not a problem because the ILS frequency is correct only difference is maybe one degree there on the course so if you want to fly as per navigraph just delete the manual setting and go to automatic and you're all set now you can take over the control arm your approach and you can fly your ILS approach so basically this is a way to do multiple approach with the 777 that works as well on the 747 I, I believe because it's the same kind of uh, logic behind the FMC so this is a way to do several approaches at different airports without having to restart the simulator and we do, it will avoid us a crash to desktop when changing the destination sometimes during the second approach you see that FSI panel 
uh, is trying to program your FMC and you have a crash to desktop. So this is due to, again, that little box here, program FMC. FSI panel is trying to change the destination and it crashed the simulator. So make sure you remove that, that uh, tick box here and follow the procedure that I just show you on the simulator and you should be fine for a dozen of approach there in the 777. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I wish you as always safe landing, stay safe in this pandemic uh, situation and speak to you soon. See you soon for another video. Thank you. Bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.